Hi everybody. My name is Amber and on this channel we talk about books, books, and more books, but we haven't lately because I haven't been uploading. But that's gonna change. Today is January 1st, 2021. Hello New Year and I am consistently going to be consistent. So get ready for book hauls, book reviews, like today, because we're doing a book review on The Great Gatsby. I don't know why I just put it down, but yeah. I was never excited to read this book ever. I was never drawn to it. I was never drawn to watching the movie. I've just never been a Great Gatsby kind of girl. That being said, I actually kind of sorta maybe ended up liking it. So reading this was kind of a buildup and my reactions were kind of like, huh, move it along. Okay, interesting, what? And now we're here. I actually read this I have to check my Goodreads, but either in September or October of 2020, I think it was September, and I've been wanting to do a review on it, but I didn't, and now I'm doing it. Also, I have this shirt. Just thought you should know. Okay, so let's actually talk about the book. So, as I say it, this book is considered a classic. It was published in 1925 and it was written by F. Scott Fitzgerald. So I'm gonna give a brief overview of what the book is about, some thoughts that I have and a rating, and then I'm gonna get into some spoilers because I have some thoughts about this book. So basically this book follows a perspective of a man named Nick Carraway, specifically as he enters and learns about the world of Jay Gatsby. Jay Gatsby is this wealthy man. He's very mysterious and he's always throwing these huge lavish parties and there's a lot that kind of unfolds as Nick Carraway learns about Gatsby and his world. So I know that's a very brief summary but trust me there's a lot packed into this book and a lot of lessons which I think is why I ended up liking it as much as I did and there's love and wealth and learning how that affects people, the power it can have over people. I just, I was very intrigued with the overall plot and how things kind of ended up for everyone. So some thoughts. It took me a second to get through this book and it's what? It's not even a lot of pages. It looks like it's like 180 pages. It took me days to get through that book. The story kind of jumps from past to present sometimes and also just, the the different interactions, the way it's written. I liked the way it was written, but it was also kind of confusing to me at times. And I was just kind of like trying to figure out what the point of this was and that was. But I will say towards the last like 100 pages, girl, it picks up. It's so like, I'm so, I was, I was sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I really liked it and it tied a lot of stuff up. So a lot of stuff in the beginning that I was kind of like, why are we talking about this? I, I will say if you can get, if you can stick it through, I, I do recommend this book. And like I said, you'll be, you'll be turning the pages like this eventually. Oh, also this book has some of the most unlikable characters, in my opinion, that I have ever read about. I was, I probably liked maybe one person. Yeah, they were, they were, they were a mess, but that's also what made it so interesting and a little bit of a page turner. And I forgot what I rated this on Goodreads, but I would rate this a four out of five. I think a four out of five is fair. Okay, now for all my folks who have not read the book, it's time for you to skedaddle so we can go through some spoilers. All right, let's talk about some spoilers. Let's talk about you, Tom Buchanan. You and your arrogant, rude, violent nature. I could not stand that man. Like, he, he he punched Myrtle, right? He punched her, he slapped her, he did something. Well, first of all, he had the whole affair with Myrtle. I mean, you know, that that's problematic in itself. The crazy part, what I loved about this book is that they allowed him to stay that way. No matter what happens, Myrtle dying, Daisy, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that. Daisy possibly being responsible for the death, Gatsby passing away and allowing Mr. Wilson, Myrtle's husband, to think something else that led to his death. And Tom just moves along like nothing happened. It is a hard pill to swallow, but it's so real. And there are people like that. There are the the people who are so just, they they, they, they feel immortal. And and I, I was so angry with him and I was so angry at the end, like when Nick approached him and he just, it was like he just didn't grow. He didn't change and he didn't want to change. But yeah, to you, Tom, by all means. Never, ever, ever grace the pages of my books ever again. Okay, let's, let's talk about Daisy. 
Daisy. I know that there are a lot of people out there who actually like Daisy. I've read a lot of different opinions on Daisy. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Other people who don't like Daisy had issues with her, you know, not choosing Gatsby and wanting some rich man or wanting love so bad that she chose whatever. I don't care about that. It's not something I would do, but that's her prerogative. What I do care about is how are you? How are you going to murder somebody? Allow the possible love of your life. I don't know how much she loved Gatsby. I think she did. Allow him to, to essentially kind of take the blame. Have him die and then just move away like, like, like it's all good. I'm sure internally it wasn't. I'm sure she dealt with things, but man, I know some people don't think she killed they killed Myrtle. I 100% think she did. I 100% believe she knew who the other woman was. Women always know, okay? She knew who Myrtle was. I believe when she saw her, she was already very emotional and had an emotional reaction in Daisy's slight minor defense, Myrtle did run out into the middle of the street, you know, when a car was coming. But do I think it was intentional? Yes. Was she in the right state of mind? I don't know, probably not. But I just think she's very, birds of a feather flock together. And as much as I don't like Tom, there is something in Daisy, if you're if you're willing to hang around certain people and, and, and choose certain people in your life, I'm not saying that makes you a lot like them, but I, do I think you probably have similar characteristics? Yes. And I think that showed. I think her choosing Tom, again, I don't really care about that. She was already married to him and Jay just kind of came like, and like be with me. And you know, I, it's not, I don't find that realistic for her to just leave her husband like that. But I don't think she's that great of a person. I think she wants to be, I think she can be, but I, I, I think she's, I think her and Tom worked together for a reason. It was just such a, such an ugly situation and it is what it is, so. Tom could have had a lot of influence over her um, and just be like, look, girl, we're gonna move, forget about this. We got the money, we got the, we've had the success, we have the popularity, we're gonna get away with this, you know. And maybe she didn't intentionally kill Myrtle, but I think she did. And I'm going to stick with that thought. But, you know, hopefully she changes. Hopefully. And now let's talk about Jay. So Jay, it's a very sad story. I mean, he didn't get his wealth in the best, best of ways, but you know, he tried. I think it is insane for him to think that after all those years, he could just come and swoop Daisy away. But it's and it, it's sad to me that he he thought all that wealth would would bring her in and you know I'm like you're enough Jay you could have done so much you could have done so much and you were worried about this lady who has her own problem she needs to figure out I, I get it she was the love of your life but like relax like you did the most to try to win her over if you need to do all of that to win somebody over y'all probably aren't meant to be together. It's just a thought. And I wish that, I wish things could have been different. Nobody, nobody at his funeral, all these people that used him. Oh, this story had a lot of lessons. Like I'm, cause I, I do think Jay at his heart was a good guy. And I think even doing all that for the woman he loves, I think it's insane. <laughs> but I think that, you know, I, I would have loved to see his story unfold without pursuing Daisy or without pursuing wealth like that, or just kind of being happy with, who he is as a person and money and success cannot stop certain things like death and failure. It just, it just can't, it can't do that. And it was sad that Gatsby had to learn that way. And I just wish Gatsby would have put that energy into like something like useful. And I mean, he would have, he would have taken over the world, but you know, his, his death was a, a, a big lesson. And Nick, I, I liked Nick Carraway. At first I was really irritated that the perspective was from him, but now I'm glad it was. So yeah, Nick, I like Nick, just wanted to throw that out there. So yeah, I guess it's safe to say I did enjoy the book overall. Okay, those are my thoughts, my opinions, my rating, my everything on The Great Gatsby. And yeah, if you haven't read it, read it. If you have read it, let me know your thoughts on the book. I would love to hear them. And that is that. All right, guys, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be making videos every single week and would love to have you there. Until we meet again, go read.